Welcome back. Let's get chatting with the management of Elecon Engineering. And the reason why we have them on our show today is because the stock has been buzzing off late. It's been up almost 31% in the month of April itself. That's roughly 10 trading sessions. So if you just take a look at uh, the stock's move in the last few trading sessions, you'll see you know, the fact that it's been buzzing almost 31%. In this month, in the last 12 months, it's tripled. Almost 200% gain is what we've seen on Elecon Engineering. What's actually perhaps aiding this up move are a couple of factors. One, promoters have recently increased their stake in the company by buying in the open market. Secondly, their earnings have been improving primarily on account of their debt repayment. And they are looking at prospects coming in from overseas markets as well. What does the company do? It's into gears as well as material handling business with exposure to uh, various uh, uh, you know, group of sectors. We have power, cement, etc. too. Kamlesh Shah, the group CFO at the company, joins us now. Thanks a lot, Mr. Shah, for joining in. Um, one, if you could explain to us uh, the fact that promoters are buying from the open market, not too much, roughly 55,000 shares bought uh, at the start of March. Do they intend to buy more? And secondly, what's the order book of the company right now? The last known order book was close to around 500 odd crores. Uh, in regard to the order book portion, it is I can't give the numbers considering the CB restrictions. However, I think mm -hmm. we can say at the company level and at the group level, we have the very high motivations to all the team members. And we are quite confident about the coming years. And we believe that you know, even the nine months results show on our confidence about our performance, both in terms of uh, top line as well as the bottom line for us. Mm -hmm. And as far as the promoters buying is concerned? Uh, so far, I said that nothing such so far as the promoters buying, continuity about that. It may be the one of transitions or might be, you know, as a part of just give the confidence about the, you know, the sales, what mm -hmm. we are looking for. But nothing so far to increase the, for the stake in that. Okay, nothing to increase for the stake in the promoters. Uh, so. Uh, just coming back to the business, the material handling uh, equipment business is small, but it's still loss making. Uh, when do you think you can that can turn profitable? Uh, about those uh, material handling equipment, what you are talking about, I think we changed our strategy in last three years, and that is you know giving the you know results now for last two years about that. Some of the legacy projects due to which we were having the losses, I think those legacy projects are now done. Uh, this is what we are done call with our investors in the last uh, our investors call and we are now looking for the good momentum in terms of material handling equipment also yeah i think we can say one thing now we are not going with the turnkey projects as a part of our strategy what i'm discussing with our investors over the period of time we have to we will continue the uh, as a, uh, supply part without going in the turnkey kind of projects which is un taking a lot of time and energy for us and at the same time with the current challenges about the execution at the client customers levels that is where we are so going ahead what is the likely revenue run rate of the material handling business and at the same time uh, on the profit front uh, you said you are making losses because you're getting out of legacy projects so going forward what's the kind of profits uh, we can expect out there and can we expect profits uh, that we discussed during the uh, you know our um, uh, investors meeting yeah now the, down the line i think we are looking for the uh, same positive momentum in mhe also whatever the you know past was there i think it is almost over now for us and we are on the closer i think we already closed one of the site that what we discussed and we are on the verge of the closer of the other site which we already are at the target and we are on the target of the same we okay. don't foresee any kind of ditch in so, so far such projects are concerned the only thing we have to just get rid of the projects peacefully oh you have to execute the projects peacefully is what you're saying we already completed the project. Completed the That's project. what we see. Nothing is now pending. Okay. Only some of the you know, procedural things we have to just complete along with the customers. Due to the COVID in the last two years, it was uh, <laughs> delayed. Hmm. But now I think we are on track upon that. So you are expanding your footprint into places like Latin America, Africa, some other countries as well. Uh, any kind of capex yeah. that you have uh, planned, any fresh investments, and also on the margin front, any raw material pressures that could kick in? We are putting our strategy very right. Uh, so far as the capacity, I will just about you know, giving the answer for about the capex. Mm. We don't have the major capex plan during the period. Uh, as such, you know, capacity utilization is nearly 60% what we discussed. Whatever the capex would be that that will be in the nature of the replacement of the some of the machines. That's a part of the process, but nothing as a part of the expansion down the line, uh, which is there for us. I think we are, you know, with this, you know, we can definitely achieve nearly 1500 crore plus turnover with the existing capacity with the moderate kind of capex as a part of the replacement. 
nothing so, much. So you can do 1500 crore uh, with the current ca capacity that you have. By when do you intend to get yeah. to that 1500 crore number? We are towards that. The confidence level is very high. Internally also we are in the, you know, the target and I think we are confident we already achieved the target for pure set internally for us. No, and so as in... Down the line next year, Next, uh, how many years? Say FI25, FI26, FI27, by when do you... Maybe in the next three years. Yeah, maybe in the next three years we are able to achieve that what we are looking for the targets. And what does the margin picture look like at that time? Because, you know, uh, as we speak, you are getting out of unprofitable businesses in... Uh, 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 in your material handling business, in gears you're looking to get uh, some more orders from private players and also some international players. So, what's the kind of margin profile that you're looking at for the company? Margin profile will be improved. I think the way in which I'm utilizing the my existing uh, infrastructures and capacity, because that remains the fixed. Naturally, it will help me to improve the margin. Even considering the current scenarios about the increasing the oil prices and other increasing the other input cost. We are fairly at least protected. We can't say we are not impacted, but we are fairly protected against that. Can you give us Based a ban? Can you give yes, us a yes. ban? Because uh, I mean, the first nine months, of course, on a low base, you've done margins of upwards of 20%. That was an expansion over the same nine month period last year. But we've seen mm. some deterioration, sub 19% uh, or rather closer to 19% in the third quarter. Going forward, where will the margins be? It will be the same way because that margin also is getting changed due to the change in the product mix. Mm. So some, you know, some quarter and other quarter, the product may change and it may have the it is impact to the margin. What we are looking for, maybe one percent plus or minus. Mm. But I think we will be on the healthy in this margin down the line. What we are looking for. Are you on track to become a debt-free company by 2023? That was your guidance earlier. And yeah, where does the debt stand at now? Yeah, we are on that track, and we are at least we can demonstrate that what we have said to our investors during our last call. We are on that track. I think we can, we may prepone our target to become a debt free, mm -hmm. but at least we are very clear that by before FR20, we will be debt free. What are you uh, borrowing at currently? What rate are you borrowing at? Because I look at your uh, net debt close to around 170 odd crores, and your first nine month uh, finance cost has been uh, almost 30, 35 odd crores. Can you tell us what rate are you borrowing at, and is that borrowing rate likely to come down? Yeah, my borrowing rate is now we are fairly at this uh, very low compared to what it was there first nine months, and in terms of my cost of data will be substantially coming down. And that is also helping me improve my profitability and liquidity. Pool. And how much does? Expense... And I don't think hmm. uh, sorry, I don't think that this question will now be there because then we are hmm. going to be debt free in the next year, any point of a time. That will have a very uh, not much relevance to that. Also. Okay, two quick questions then before we let you go. On the, yeah. Two quick questions before we let you go. If you could tell us sure. uh, uh, how much does exports contribute to your revenue right now, given that, uh, you know, Sonia also said that you're looking at uh, newer markets, LATAM, etc. How much will that be as an overall percentage of your sales by when? And secondly, now that you're debt-free, you're increasing your profits, etc. Will you be giving out more dividends? Dividend is not in my purview presently to discuss about that rest with the board. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, you know, investors also are aware about that, about our dividend policy and how it works. And exports? Uh, exports presently, I think we are at uh, 12 to 15 percent of total our export presently, and we have the uh, targets to improve upon the same. To and how much? We have our uh, own operations uh, outside uh, India, days out of uh, Sweden, Netherlands, UK, and USA. So that also is generating the uh, revenue for us separately. And you said you have a uh, target to improve it by when and to what? Uh, we are just improving that target uh, to nearly uh, present. I think we are at 100, 100, 100 pro, and we are having the target also for you know improving the same over the next three years to nearly 300 to 400 crore. Okay, all right, all the best. Thanks a lot for joining us and. Uh... Hope you achieve all your targets, especially the one to become debt-free, because I guess that's what investors appreciate the most. Uh, let's slip into a quick commercial break. Prakash Gaba will be joining in with some trading strategies on the other side. Stay tuned.